What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Teams, and we're going to look at the trigger, which is when a new channel message is added. So this trigger allows you to trigger a flow based on a new channel message in your Teams. So you pass in the team, you pass in the channel, and when a new message goes into that channel, uh, you can automate something. So let's take a look at it. So in Power Automate, I have my flow here and right here at the top, I've got my Teams connector. So Microsoft Teams, I can choose that one. The one we're gonna look at today is when a new channel message is added preview. So the preview is the fact that this is a new, uh, a new trigger and there may be some changes and things like that to it in the future. And it's not fully GA, but we can still use it now. Um, there is actually a note on here. So if you look at the information, it says that this operation triggers when a new message is posted to a channel in Teams. Note that this trigger only files when a root message is added to the channel. Replies to an existing channel message will not result in the trigger event firing. So that's really important. So when you start a new conversation in Microsoft Teams, uh, if you click that new, add new conversation button, you can uh, add a message. That's when this is going to fire. If someone replies to that message, this trigger is not going to fire. So that's important. So we choose that one. And the thing it asks us for is the team and the channel. So I have a Microsoft team set up. Uh, it's called the MCJ demo team. And in that team, I have a single channel. So if I flick over to my teams here, you can see here, I've got MCJ demo team, and I've got my channel here. But this is looking inside of my environment. So uh, that's that's one thing to notice that you can't look at an external environment. Well, I suppose you could do if you set up a different connector, but um, this is only going to pull things back from my environment. So I have a single team with a single channel at the moment. Next, we can do something else. So we can maybe just drop a compose action in here and we can take some content from that um, Teams message. So we can look at dynamic content and we can say, hey, let's get the, uh, is it plain text? Plain text message body, we'll just take that. So what this will do is when a new channel message is added, we're going to trigger the flow and it's going to give us that message body. So let's save this. And let's test it out. So we'll click on test. I'll perform a trigger action, save and test. Uh, we will wait for a second and make sure the flow is running. Good. We'll go over to our Teams. And uh, this is what I mean about the new conversation. So if I click new conversation here and type something like, hi there, this, uh, this is a new channel message. And hit return. That's going to create a ch new channel message in here. And that should trigger the flow. Set the flow run successfully. Yay! So we'll give this a second to load up if it wants to. And uh, let's go back. And let's load it up this way. So we can see when this is added, uh, we can have a look at the raw output. So we get some data from um, some from Teams uh, about what it is. We get things like the display name is Matt Collins, it's me. Uh, we get the text, the hi there, et cetera, et cetera. So we get a few pieces of information. And if we go to our Compose, we get this. So we see the content type, text, content, hi, this new channel message. So the actual message body isn't isn't really plain text, it's probably gonna tell us like this is text, this is image, this is this is other things and stuff like that. Um, similarly, if I go to test this again and click trigger and click test and we wait for a second. If I now go over to my Microsoft Teams and put um, this is a reply, uh, reply to a message and hit enter. If I go back to my flow now, we'll see it's kind of just stuck here looping. It's not going to trigger the flow because that's a reply to the message. So it only works at that top level. Um, so when it says root level, it means just that first message. So you can automate something based on the first message in a channel or any message in a channel. So it could be something like, um, you know, if there's a new message in this channel, um, send me, uh, you know, an email if I'm out of the office to, to remind me about this message or something like that. Um, or you could have some sort of automation that says, um, this is a this is a public channel. 
the public, you know, I'm, I'm allowing access, just user access to this Microsoft Teams and to this channel. Whenever a new message is posted in there, uh, maybe we check to see whether the user is an internal user or a guest. And if it's a guest, maybe uh, ping someone on a notification so they get back to them right away. So if you're using Teams for, um, you know, customer service or like a forward facing forum or something like that, you could use it that way. Uh, but as always, I want to know what you guys use this for. So what do you use this new action for? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, please click subscribe and stay up to date with all my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.